paper covered. You can take the ball now or the second half. You want it now. Glacier Boys won the toss, elected to take the football. First down. Glacier Boys have won. Right to left on your screen, and we go run right away. Kalen Campbell to the 15, the 20, and he is taken down from behind to about the 25 before McKinney catches up with him. Nice. He's off. And an opportunity here to pass. Looking downfield to Jamil. Man, Got him. Already. Touchdown, Glacier Boys. Wow. Already. Already. I tell everybody every week there's those, those certain guys that, that you know that's always going to get the ball, and Andrew Jamil is going to be one of those guys. He always shows up. He's franchised because of that, and he I, I know he's going to show out this week. Registered for. This is the point after opportunity. It's called the man up in the FCF. A little miscommunication there as Jamil turned inside, and that pass went high from Francois. When Flowers again looking to throw. Has time, complete here, looking for a first down. They'll get it, Salisbury to the 25, and he's out of play. And right on the front doorstep here, looking to punch this in and try and tie or take the lead. And it looked like they have Robert Turbin in the backfield. Turbo has come on for the first time, wearing number 30, gets the toss. Turbin running left, running out of room, reverses field, turns up field, hammering towards the end zone. Turbo mode punches it in. That's what that aim. That uh, makes him who he is. I mean, he's done it before. First, first play that he touches the ball in the fan control football, he takes it in for a touchdown. I thought that play was dead, man. He just kept going. Boy owner, I thought it was dead, bro. <laughs> Dang. I, I will say, a lot of speculation in the chat about that injury, and I think we can rule one out. There's a popular theory in the, in the chat right now saying that he was actually pregnant, which I think <laughs> we can rule that one out, but I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some updates here. Take a look at this on the replay from our friends at Great Clips, and he takes three dudes into the end zone destroying. If, if you see everything, I, I mean, I mean, cut you off deep, but if you see him move, he not only had the vision, the quickness, oh. the explosion, and ran. Out. It's good to see these one-on-ones in person now. Okay. Go! Here's Evans. Nice. Locked up. Get your hands on him. Locked up. Go. Locked up. Ran there out of time. Wave it, it up. Wave it up. Locked up, baby. That's what I'm Ooh. talking about. Big Come on now. <laughs> on the man-up drill here in the FCF, you have three seconds. Two boys Go. trying to convert. Keep in mind, they do have all their team power-ups available. Pindell throwing. Won't need it. That's a first down complete Move to Jamil beyond the 20. Francois passing, facing oh, easy, the rush, easy, throwing on the easy. rush, got him, Turpin's there, <laughs> touchdown, Glacier Boys. Extra dipping sauces, Greg. Let's go, baby. Go, go. Come on. Oh, peep the celebration. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. And that, and I, and I got to get that's a, that's, that was that was one-on-one, Marlon Franklin. Yes, sir. Devontae Turkin, franchise against franchise, man. Look, uh, Marlon got to stay inside. Hey, Turk. Great Turpin been balling, man. Yeah, man, Turpin been balling, man. And great job by that offensive line picking up that blitz. Look at him go. Get him, get up there. Get up there. Go on here. You know, this is a bold statement, but I don't know who I'm digging more, Jamil or Turpin. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Just okay. put the two points on the board. No, just put the one. Boom. Easy. Boom. Um, all day. Easy. Two points. All day. Facing a fourth down here, fourth go. and ten. Flowers. Well, as we say that, he'll take a run. And then steps out of bounds, actually keeps in play, reversing field, has a block to the 20. The 25 lowers the wow. shoulder out of play at the 20. Let's see how he is getting up. If he's favoring that left leg at all, and he seems to be okay. And he ran into Roman like he had something to prove right there. And it, it, it literally just took the words right out of my mouth. And I said, look, I didn't know if he was saving it, but I think he's saving it for the right time. He's looking downfield. He's looking downfield, but he's like, you know what? I got to do what I got to do. I got to be Quentin Flowers. I've got to be the leader of this team and do what has been working. So let's go. And let me uh, give you a little bit of this, sir. Second look here, as you'll see, he can stay in bounds there. In bounds. Cuts yep. it back. That's a missed stop there. The Glacier Boys. That'll pop up on tape, don't lie. Hey, Roman. Get go. Third and seven. Flowers dropping back, in trouble, being pursued, trying to escape. He'll throw off his back foot, oh. and that's going to fall down incomplete as he is buried right at the FCF logo. A big defensive push from Dante Rump, joined by James Parker Bass. Man. First half. Flowers has protection this time for the moment, now breaking. Ready to throw on the run, firing incomplete. Oh. Bazile couldn't hang on in the end zone. That's big right there. That is big right there. It was a 28-22 win for the Beast over the Glacier Boys. Beast on offense, TJ Edwards is on. He'll run the football. 15-20, that's good for a first down.
Glacier boys ahead of the Beast, 14 to six. TJ Edwards on a quarterback for the Beast, throwing way downfield. Got a man to the end zone, just out of play, running out of real estate. No touchdown there, but a beautiful connect into some seats there beyond the end zone. And a flag has been thrown on the play. Big effort there for number 80 on the Beast. Hedadiah Lewis, second look here on our Great Clips replay. Personal foul, roughing the passer, a blow to the head. 10-yard penalty, automatic first down. Way back, Edwards, play action, he'll throw, got a man, tipped away. Oh. What defense coming from behind and knock that back. That's number 38, Stivis Latham. Man. Get long. Stivy got long on him, man. That was a great, great play. Great play right here, man. Just smooth, smooth, smooth is just that dude, man. He comes out when he needs to come out. Like, look at this back. I mean, he came. He, he, he got back in, in, in great position, man. Now, play. Throwing on the run. Tipped, caught, oh, touchdown. Oh, oh, Deflected, oh. and Salisbury hauls it in off the hands of Sikowski. Got to make that play. Got to make that play. I'm going to start this play off with the, the Cecil Cherry, I think, was the blitzing linebacker. You got to make that play. You, you got his hands on him. And Cecil's a good player, man, but he's got to make that play. You cannot allow those the damn wide receivers just running around like that. You, boom, you come in, that's your play. That's why you, That's why we're blitzing. You cannot, can't leave that open like that. Here's the man up drill now. Beast looking Nine. to tie. They do. Can't do that. Can't, there's two things Ike didn't do. Didn't get his hands on him right there. Got it. Back for the Glacier boys. They got two near side, one to the far side. Francois ready to throw. Way downfield. Got a guy. Turpin to the end zone. Bang. Touchdown, boys respond. Got him. I like that. I like that. I like. I like. Hey, he, he, he could have went with what, what his defense gave him right here with Andrew Jamil, but again, DeAndre Francois always keeping his, his eyes downfield. Saw Turpin streaking down the backside. I, he Maddox saw what seven. he wanted. He saw what he wanted from get go. Said, "I got you." Maddox 702 in the chest is all day, every day. I know Aiden Ross, the newest Glacier Boy co-owner, is loving this. Darren Dodell out, so they're working with a tight end. Uh. Ooh. Gets free. Ooh. Tough grab. Gets free. Tough grab. Guys um, respect that, and, and guys are excited to, to get the challenge. Edwards avoiding pressure off to the offensive lineman. Oh, so up to the smart. 20, oh, and then oh, upended. Oh, oh, oh. The big man, Patrick Allen. Woo. Head over. And a lot of these guys are wearing shoes in this. Porter. Spinning to the end zone, reaching across the goal line. Quinn Porter's back in the end zone. Extra dipping sauces, Greg. That's an actual, that's a Josh McCougar ah! joint. Back with Edwards. Let him throw the hard throw. Stay inside, hard throw, yep. Running out of time, they don't get it off again. And the Beast, Glacier Boys, back on offense with DeAndre Francois. Eludes the rush to the 20, cuts it back to the 25, still moving to the 20, and he is out of play at about the 15, big run. For Glacier Boys looking to build on their two-point advantage. Francois again to the end zone, got a guy, I, it's Jamil. Touchdown, Glacier Boys. Dropping I dives. seen it, I literally seen it when he yep, came yep. off of the line. I said he gonna run that square in because the safety's too, too far inside. Surprise, 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 it's Andrew Jamil again. I mean, watch this play here. The, 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 the safety's way too, he's inside too far. And all he had to do was dump that. Oh. Jameel. Wow. Go. Beast looking to come back. Throwing, that's good. To the 15. Oh, Beautiful oh, oh. move. The 20, the 20. Flowers. He's back in. Stepping back, directing traffic, throwing downfield back into off. coverage, picked off back. in the back of the end zone, an interception taken away by Marquise Kane. Bad back call. Back. Glacier boys in great position to advance. Kalen Campbell on the move to the 15, the 20, still cruising, 25. Receivers split out to each side, he'll throw. Or he'll take it himself oh. to the 15, to the 10, the 5, cuts it back. This one's been iced out. The Glacier boys punch it in. The ground, and now he'll look for the two-point conversion. Adds another. Makes some magic happen here. TJ Edwards, they got to go downfield in a hurry, and they won't get there. Three seconds left. Likely last play here for the Beast. Edwards hurling downfield into traffic, into defense, intercepted. And you can... Put this
this one on ice. The wow. Glacier Boys finish it off with an INT in the end zone. Taking it away is Ike Adigo, and they're moving on to the championship. The Glacier Boys defeat the Beast 38-20. Ain't nothing like an underdog. Ain't nothing like an underdog.